Hello Internet, it is the shadow of the man formerly known as Hewlett here, uh, streaming cold. I would call it the nerd flu because uh, I just got back from a convention. We're really sad we didn't go to Minecon, but I did go. Instead of going to Minecon this year, um, I, I we couldn't do it because of filming. I just couldn't. I was hoping to go to Minecon for a couple of days and then go to Chicago for this, the last Stargate event that they're doing there, which was wonderful. Like, it was amazing. I loved it. Um, there were a ton of people. Unfortunately, I had to sort of rush in and rush out because I had to film the next day, but um, it was just great. Got to sort of catch up with a few people and say hello to everybody, and uh, uh, yeah, you could not sort of have wished for more from a convention, to be honest. Of course, I was on a flight and I shook a thousand hands, and so being the hypochondriac that I am, I, I got sick. Um, but I wanted to touch base because I had been forever since I've been on YouTube. A ton of stuff has happened. Um, uh, I apologize for being slightly low energy today, but uh, I just wanted to get back on YouTube again. So what have I been up to? Well, big news is I'm working with Guillermo del Toro. He's like the king of the film nerds. I am working on his latest film, The Shape of Water. I'm not allowed to say anything about it because, you know, their lawyers will descend. It is like, like the best experience of my life. It's just unbelievable. I love the guy. I love the guy's energy. I love the guy's creativity. I love the way he he uh, marries life and work and art and passion and he's just an extraordinary individual and I am enjoying every second. Although I'm terrified the whole time too because he's also a complete tyrant. My wife and child didn't recognize me when I went to meet them in the parking lot uh, on set the other day. I'm gonna be very sad when it's over. You won't be because wait till you see this film. It's gonna be insanely amazing. Like it's just, it really is, it is a monster masterpiece. And in the meantime, I've been picking through garbage. Yes. One of the things I love doing, um, and I think it's a great way to get kids interested in electronics, is to just pick through garbage. Go through garbage, find things. I have found, um, I have found the inside, this is the inside of a laser printer. Um, and like, how cool is that? There's gonna be, I mean, all sorts of things we're gonna pull out of that. So, um, we've got, so we've got motors, we got lasers, you got all sorts of stuff. And again, there's no risk of breaking anything because it's already broken. It's in the garbage. So, there's no pressure on the kid. He can get in there, he can start pulling stuff apart. Not sure what the liquid is. Ooh. This was just sitting out in the garbage. All the, the things you would need to, to be looking at, um, at things under the microscope and the microscope itself. I'm not sure exactly what this is. It looks like some kind of an amplifier. Someone's already gone and taken a couple of the capacitors off it. So again, something else that the kid can, we can maybe do some desoldering and pull off the components and see if we can use them for something else. Um, and uh, and a lobster. I'm, I don't know why there's a lobster here, but we just throw out technology. We throw out all this stuff all the time. There's just so much neat stuff, usable things in there. Um, you know, much to my wife's chagrin, we come home with lugging things back from the garbage at all times. Also, get this. I was talking to Sebastian's teacher and just happened to mention that we've been playing with, you know, Raspberry Pi and um, Arduino and building computers and stuff. And he suggested that I come in every couple of weeks and we build PCs or talk about PCs and maybe I can even bring in some of the Raspberry Pi stuff I'm working on. Because we've got this uh, game bratlet, I'm calling it, which is it's a Raspberry Pi running RetroPie, which is an emulator which allows you to basically emulate all the old, all the old video games. So we're playing that as well. And I put together a little little monitor and stuff for that, so kind of neat. Uh, I don't know where that is actually. Right now. It's lying around somewhere. Who knows? The kid's probably gone off with it. Uh, God, I am not making any sense at all. The PC. This is the PC build um, that we did. Uh, we are loving it. Interesting. I got a few. Th I got some thoughts on on VR that I'd like to share with you guys um, at some point because uh, we built this specifically for as a VR rig. We're basically using it as the gaming computer now. Uh, Sebastian and I like, uh, we're playing Ark, this fantastic game called Ark. He's actually at a Make Your Kids camp, right? Not right now, but that he's doing on a weekly basis where they learn how to use uh, Redstone. By using Redstone in Minecraft, you learn about circuits in the real world, and then I'm hoping he can translate that into something that we can start using these things for. A lot of uh, Pokemon cards, a lot of uh, Magic Gathering card collecting, and uh, cataloging. For some reason, we're really interested in putting all this stuff in books and things and getting it all organized. Uh, the kids are really enjoying that. My wife is OCD, I would have to say on it. And I have sort of started getting some organized, trying to get some comic books organized here as well. So that's what I have been up to of late. So, okay, my arm is getting tired. I'm supposed to be sick, so I'm gonna set up. I'm gonna set up. So until we geek again, cheerio. Or should I say, until we geek again, actually. And until we geek again, cheerio.